Are you jealous that the boys at school have a bigger sword? Well, you've stumbled onto the right video, as today I tried beating Terraria as the short sword class. Anything from the copper short sword to the newly modded swords are all available for us to use. So will Boyo be able to defeat the Moon Lord only using short swords, or will he not be able to reach Mr. Squidman at all? Well. Let's find out. I spawned in with a copper short sword. How how cool, right? Whoa, this is so modded of you, right? I opened up a little starter bag, got myself some platinum armor, and then went to the left, found a corruption biome, and died. How cool. I chopped down some trees, then went over to the right side of the world, found myself a desert pyramid. I love pyramids, you know why? Because it reminds me of Egypt. Uh, Shut up, boy. Yeah, I ended up dying in the desert to a cactus, uh, just like how my dog did in real life, so that was pretty cool. And then I went mining. I took fall damage and died, so that was pretty cool. And then I crafted myself a cactus short sword. How epic. We love cactus short swords, right? This dealt, like, literally no more damage than the copper short sword did, but, you know, hey, it, it perked mobs. It... it, it the placebo effect is strong, boyos, let me tell you that. I got myself this uh, swirly sandstorm uh, bottle thing that made me jump really high. What is it called? Like a sandstorm in a bottle? So that was pretty cool. Hey, Terraria expert forgets his names too. I went over to the beach at the right side of the world literally for no reason just to like have the map explored. And then after this, I went over to the left side of the world and explored the rest of that. Uh, as I came back to spawn, I made myself an anvil and then crafted a brand new short sword called the frozen short sword, which was made out of 14 ice blocks and and 14 snow blocks. It shot out these white projectiles. Yo, is this actually ice or is this something else? Uh, that's okay. Um, shot out these white projectiles. Uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, it probably dealt more damage than the cactus short sword because you know it shoots white pro project. Uh, Okay, whatever. I started digging myself a elevator, and then I died. Then I started digging myself a elevator again, and this time I did not die, so that's pretty cool of me. I got myself a bunch of ores. I uh, did boring Terraria stuff like pick up Amethyst. You guys want me to say that? I went to go pick up Amethyst. How interesting would that whole video be, right? I went to go fight a bunch of mobs in the cave using my frozen short sword. Uh, you know, tested out the um, the white projectiles to see how they like it on their face. Uh, but uh, that's besides the point. I made myself a bunch of NPC houses. Oh, that was pretty cool. Got the merchant to move in. Bought myself a piggy bank, oink, and then I put all my money in there. Nice. Nice. Now I went over to the jungle and started to scour the entire jungle. Vegan teacher, don't get mad at me. I ate up all the plants. I destroyed all the plants, broke down all the trees in search for life crystals and jungle spores and stingers. Why? Because I needed to craft myself a new short sword made out of stingers and jungle spores. This was called the sword of grass, the short sword of grass. It poisoned enemies and that was pretty cool. I decided to go over to the crimson, make myself an arena and fight the Eater of Worlds. Once again, I have a mod which allows both the evils to be in the world, so that's why the Eater of Worlds spawns in the Crimson. We absolutely demolished the Eater of Worlds using the short sword, and upon taking him out, I made myself a Nightmare Pickaxe, as any civil Terraria player would do. I decided to go mining, for what you may ask? Well, Hellstone. I love my Hellstone. But there's one problem. We don't have a special NPC that sells Obsidian Skin Potions, meaning we're gonna have to go fight the Eye of Cthulhu so we can get this silly, stupid, dumb, bonk NPC to move in. I made myself an arena for the Eye of Cthulhu. I suck summoned in the Eye of Cthulhu, and then using the short sword of grass, we managed to take out the Eye of Cthulhu. That was pretty cool. Then I waited for the NPC to move in. Once that silly NPC moved in, I bought myself an obsidian skin potion. Obsidian. Yes, I turned myself into a rock. I jumped straight into lava and picked up as much hellstone as I could. Oh, hi Adrian, nice seeing you in hell. And after I got myself a bunch of hellstone said goodbye to average Adrian himself, I went all the way back to spawn and, using a hellforge, made myself a bunch of hellstone bars. The first thing I crafted myself was a brand new short sword called the Molten Short Sword. It was like the fiery great sword if it was like his loser little brother. It costed only six hellstone, so I guess it was a little bit better. You don't have to waste as much of your hellstone. But we need a full hellstone armor before before I could be satisfied with my well-being, and very quickly I managed to get full hellstone armor and I was satisfied with my well-being. I was trying to go out of my way to fight Skeletron, but before this I decided to put my big brain to use. You can actually craft like the Knight's Edge version of the short swords and this was called the Daylight's Abomination. We needed four different swords which I actually managed to craft over time so I crafted this and it was like a spear. This really reminded me of the spear overhaul video which I'll leave in the uh, cards up there so if you want to see that video be sure to click on it right now. But yeah, shout out these weird projectiles. I don't know what's up with the projectiles in this mod, but it's a little bit sus. So, that's... It.
Whatever, man. Whatever. I decided to purify the Crimson Biome because it was really getting out of hand coming into spawn. I picked up a meteor as I made my way over to Skeletron's dungeon, and as it turned to nighttime, I challenged and defeated Skeletron using the Daylight's Abomination. I went into, into his dungeon, and I looted each and every single water candle I could find. You know why? Because I need it for a special crafting recipe that lets us uh, make the spawn rates go like 10 times faster. So yeah, that's neat, right? That's neat. I came back to spawn, got myself a bunch of buff potions, and then I went back over to the jungle to get myself more life crystals. By this time, I was at max HP, right? So that's pretty cool. And I built myself a bigger arena for the wall of flesh. I chucked the guide voodoo doll into the lava and summoned in this wall. The WOF spawned in and he started rushing me. So, you know, I kind of got mad and used the daylight's abomination to absolutely shred through each and one of its eyeballs, bro. I had no chill. We defeated the wall of flesh and got into hard mode. Like, by by a very small sliver, dude, uh, I was supposed to die. I'm not gonna lie, I was supposed to die, bro. That was really bad. Took out the wall of flesh, blessed our world with palladium or calcum and titanium. And then after this, I made myself a molten pickaxe, got myself a palladium pickaxe, got myself an or calcum pickaxe, made an or calcum anvil, <gasps> and then made myself full titanium armor. <clears throat> titanium armor. Correcto. I also made myself the uh, zealous destroyer during this time, which was made out of like a couple of souls and night, I think it was. And it was just another short sword. It was kind of garbage, but hey, it dealt like the most damage out of any of the other short swords. So it was like the least garbage of the most garbage things that we had. I got myself a giant harpy feather, crafted myself a set of harpy wings. Yes, pretty cool, right? And then I went to go farm out for souls of light. Once I had enough souls of light, I made myself this brand new short sword, which let us shoot stars. It was like the star cannon, but like a sword that was short. Yup. Anyways, that was pretty cool. And after this, I decided to uh, square up against a bunch of crimson mobs. Cool. Once I spoke to the Chinese mafia, they actually let me craft the summon for the destroyers. So I summoned him in once he turned to nighttime. Of course, I did not buff up because I'm an absolute chad and we took out the destroyer. I next buffed up for the twins because this time I was kind of scared. You see, with the short sword, it's really hard. And what I mean by really hard, I mean it's brutally nearly impossible to actually hit the twins with the short sword. Could you imagine, bro, like, I don't even want you to just watch the boss fight and uh, tell me yourself how hard this looks, okay? I had to use this brand new weapon called the Deity Spear because it, it, it had the chance to even be thrown, okay? So we can kind of throw it, but it was like a short sword that is thrown. Is it, is it really a short sword? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Is it even a part of the same mod? Is Boyochi? No, okay, I'm kidding. But yeah, the twins were just like, it, it was probably the hardest boss fight out of everything. The twins and the Moon Lord were just death, death, death. We took out both the twins, so that was, you know, just like literally by chance. I, I don't even know how this happened. And then I went to go challenge Skeletron Prime. Skeletron Prime was far easier than the twins. Oh my goodness, thank God. After this, we got the legendary prompt of the jungle growing restless. You know what else grows restless, boys? That is correct. The pay of the editor every single time you subscribe to the channel. That is 100% fact information. Anyways, I went over to the jungle, popped a perk, I mean a uh, spelunker potion, and started mining out a bunch of chlorophyte. Once I had a bunch of chlorophyte, and I mean a bunch of chlorophyte, I crafted myself the life splitter, which was a brand new short sword that um was made out of chlorophyte. Yeah, like I didn't already say that. Along with this, I also upgraded that one star short sword that we had, so uh, it shot out far more stars than uh, it did previously. I buffed up, made an arena for Plantera, found Plantera's bulb, and decided to spawn in and fight Plantera. We managed to actually die to Plantera because frankly we did not have any uh, good armor and two kind of crappy short swords, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, it, it was kind of obvious that we would die, but hey, I, I just thought I'd like test my luck, you know? I like to test my luck. But yeah, we died because we could not really keep a distance and then I decided to go craft myself a full set of turtle armor before fighting Plantera. Along with this, we got invaded by pirates. Oh, how much I love pirates, bro. So that was pretty cool. I got like a cool eye patch accessories from that, so... I, I wore that for the rest of the game, unironically, because I liked it. How cool is that? I refought Plantera this time with turtle armor, and we took her out. I went straight into the Golem Temple, the Temple of Golem himself, and we fought him right away. I did manage to take him out on my very first go using the Life Splitter and the uh, the Star Short Sword, uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to need an upgrade real soon because our weapons are getting slightly underpowered. I fought Golem a bunch more times just so I can get myself like Beetle armor later before fighting Moon Lord, because we are kind of like the melee class 
class, right? But before this, I decided to go and fight the Solar Eclipse. Why? Because I needed the legendary Broken Hero Sword, right? I needed that for a couple of crafting recipes, and once we got the Broken Hero Sword, I decided to go to the jungle and look for life crystals. Once I got like three life crystals and decided it's not even worth looking for this stuff anymore, I crafted myself a brand new short sword called the Skyblade. This was crafted out of a Broken Hero Sword, some Chlorophyte, and Souls of Light. So by far, I guess it's like the most advanced short sword that we can actually get access to thus far, and it was the most powerful. It had the longest reach out of any of the short swords thus far, and would come in handy when fighting the bosses to come. I waited for the Solar Eclipse to finally finish. I fought Golem a couple more times. I got myself a bunch of buff potions, and then I went to go fight the Lunatic Cultist using the Skyblade that we recently just got. I tried my best to take out this uh, Lunatic Cultist, and we actually managed to do it, surprisingly. Like, genuinely surprisingly, because uh, this is like a more long-range boss, so, you know, I had to get up close to him. I went to go fight the Vortex Pillar first, and so I took that out first, and once that was out, I took out the Stardust Pillar, I went to go take out the Nebula Pillar, and left the Solar Pillar for last, because, hey, that one's hard, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that one's real hard. Uh, so we took that out, and now, um, as you can see, the screen is shaking. Uh, what do I do? Uh, how am I gonna take out the Moon Lord if I cannot reach him? Is what was going through my head at this point, right? So, um, I I'm a little bit scared. And uh, bear in mind, I only have Harpy. Why do I only have Harpy Wings? Oh, I am not smart. Anyways, Moon Lord spawns in, and I'm using the uh, Nature's Bless. What is the Nature's Bless? It's a brand new short sword that I crafted using Vortex Fragments and Chlorophyte. So, since it had the longest range out of any sword, I decided to use that, and it also had the most damage, right? So we took out two of his eyes, which was kind of good, right? And as we took out the third one, his core was open, and I decided to uh, blast his core with the uh, Nature's Bless. And so using the Nature's Bless, we took out his left eye first. After spamming his eyeball, his main eyeball, right? The one that he can see with, we took that out, making him a uh, blind man. So I guess he gets some like government health benefits. And then we took out his right arm. Uh, sad, because now he cannot touch his peepee. -pee. And then we took out his core. And we took out the Moon Lord using the Nature's Bless. I'm actually, like, I was gen, I'm not even joking, I was genuinely surprised that we could do this with the uh, short swords, because, you know, it was, like, really difficult to reach the hands during the entire boss fight, but yeah, this was the, uh, Short Swords Plus mod, I think it is called, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out another one like this on screen. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. This has been Boyo. Peace out.